Hi, it's Jessica Damasa with WTF Health. Joining me right now, I have Roberto Ascione. He is the CEO of Healthware and also the chairman of Frontiers Health. So Roberto, a pleasure to have you with us. Thanks for having me. All right, so we are here at Frontiers Health 2019. Key takeaways from you from this year's conference. Wow, in a few seconds, it's a lot. I mean, this has been now two, uh, over three days. Uh, half plenary, half parallel. I think the few key takeaways could be, number one, I think the spirit is very right. They're the spirit of pioneering digital health that we had like uh, five, seven years ago is still a year while the movement is scaling up. And I think this is incredibly important. I think we are really starting to see uh, not only traction, but evidence uh, in the space of the early evidence in digital therapeutics. Uh, we are surely starting to see the first evidence in uh, data in action. Uh, there's been a session on patient centricity, which was overcrowded with people standing up and staying, where we were discussing how the patient centricity is finally getting activated through technology. And th something that I'm very passionate about is we are starting to really see that technology is here to humanize care and not really to transform this into a tech and a medicine, which is very important to me personally, to healthware and our team, as well as at Frontiers that we are keep supporting uh, over these years. No, I think that that's really well said. I mean, you are a doctor, you're a clinician yourself, and so it's important, I think, to, to, to note that technology is not trying to replace anything, but to augment things. So I wanted to ask you, because I feel like Frontiers Health is really emerging as the digital health conference in Europe. But this year you brought in a lot of folks from overseas. So tell me about some of the folks that you had here from around the world to contribute to the conversation. Yeah, Frontiers was born to give a home to the European ecosystem. Uh, that was at the time, about five years ago, starting to thrive. I think has really expanded globally. Not only fast tracks that went from Shanghai to San Francisco, uh, and there will be more next year. But also this year we had, for example, the strategic venture group out of the US uh, with Mons and I and other partners that are investing strategically into startups, uh, which is clearly US focused with great attention to start to talk to the rest of the world. But also we had for the first time Ping An Group from China that has been taking a panel on healthcare delivery and how these big insurance groups are really instrumental to scale digital health. And also uh, we had a lot of participation for the Nordics as well as from um, EMEA region. So I think it's really you know, growing uh, uh, at the global level. Uh, we are very proud of that. Uh, I have to say that not only uh, over 200 uh, corporations were represented, but uh, over 175 startups have been able to get in touch with uh, a huge array of investors, about 100, and also uh, various hubs and incubators and acceleration programs have been knowledge partners. And this is keep growing, and I think that's reached the scale that will be the one for the upcoming years. We have been around 700 people, which is probably about to the right sites. I want to talk to, you mentioned startups, and so two different ways I want to talk about startups with you. Um, key everybody in on some of the, the accelerator programs that held different programs here at Frontier. So I know Almeral launched a digital garden here, um, Bayer G for Hay had a program as well, but talk a little bit more about that and how important that is to help build that um, established healthcare company pharma partnership pathway for the startup. Yeah, no, that's a great question. Uh, this is an ecosystem play nobody can do in isolation. We heard this at zillion of time. What we are doing as healthware and for a portion of our work in the healthware labs, especially vertical, and to an extent with Frontiers as contributor and as animator of this ecosystem around the conference is really to activate these partnerships. Um, we also have new people uh, dedicated only to that in our team. So now, what this is about, uh, if you look at startups like the spinning wheels of cars, right? And the big corporations that had the old infrastructure with the big engine and whatever, then you need a gearbox, right? That it makes these different parts of the system kind of really functioning together. So this program is well designed, are able to provide for that, and given there's a need to concentrate and connect multiple uh, players from the ecosystem, this as a platform is where the companies already are or desire to be, 
uh, the different uh, players within the ecosystem are as well. So it's proving to be very efficient to run here uh, selection, contests, business meetings, matchmaking, some are happening you know, in public, some others are happening even behind the scenes in closed door meetings. That's we love we're those closed door meetings. This also is Frontiers. It is, absolutely. And the other thing I wanted to mention about the startups here, one of the things I noticed was that you had a lot of startups that have been really successful up on stage. So, and I'm not going to name them all, but just some of them. I mean, you had Kaya Health, Click Therapeutics, we had Silver Cloud, we had companies that have gone public, two of them, Health Catalyst, and gone public in the US, um, Health Catalyst and Livongo. Why is it important to bring some of these startups that are a little bit further along, later stage, bring them up and, and have them speak on stage have such visibility at Frontiers? On, it's very important on some multiple levels. I'll pick two that I think are very important. And one that goes back to the spirit. Uh, some of these companies were here at the startup discovery session, so a small, much smaller scale, seeking funding or partnerships, and they made it through. It's super important that these guys, as they scale, uh, which is also a bit of the story of our own company, go back to the ecosystem and share the learnings, both positive and negatives. So that's one reason. The other reason is that as you scale, maybe you can scale on your own, but you can also scale with partnerships. So maybe some of the early stage companies of today might become partners on specific vertical of larger scale companies that have already reached a certain critical mass. These are two reasons of many others why I think this is important. And I'm really uh, thankful to all of them that is happening because it's very easy to forget where you're coming from once you IPO, once you reach scale, while it's so super important to me to stay connected back to the ecosystem, keep giving your contribution. I think this is also part of the spirit of Frontiers. Awesome, I, I would like everybody to take a look on Twitter and, and find, find the hashtag, hashtag FH19 and take a look at some of the photos that have been tweeted out too. I mean, we're at Exica here in Berlin, it's a beautiful venue. How many people were here on site? We had uh, nearly 700 people. Uh, which is a little bit more than 600, which is the maximum size, because it's a closed uh, number kind of yeah. conference. As about 100 speakers and 500 delegates, we be a little bit overbooked, but that's great. Awesome. That's a great problem to have. Well, last question for you. What's next for you? I mean, obviously, you're the chairman of Frontiers Health. There's going to be a Frontiers next year. It might be in a new location. We'll talk about that in a second. But I would like you also to talk about um, your day job as CEO of Healthware. So what's, what's next? Paint us a picture. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Frontiers will surely come back next year. Uh, 11 to 13 on November, we already have the date set okay. of 2020. We have two possible cities for the global conference, whether Berlin or Milan, we will disclose this in the very next few weeks. Um, with this said, on the healthware side, I mean, Frontiers is our uh, biggest commitment to the ecosystem over, over the year. We do several other things. We participate in many fast tracks, and we try to have our own you know, leadership people uh, engaged with the various hubs and various conferences to keep building uh, from our own angle uh, the digital health ecosystem. As a company, we are seeing this big traction in the partnership space, whether it is uh, life sciences companies, startups, uh, whether it has, involves design or build or strategy. Uh, so we are really, really hands-on in multiple of these projects globally. We enjoy this uh, tremendously. We are growing the team. So this is keep coming and keep going for the next year. Awesome. Roberto, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much for having me here at Frontiers Health. It's been a pleasure. I hope you had a great year. Thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you next year, the latest yes. year. <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm Jessica DeMasso with WTF Health. Thank you for joining us here at Frontiers Health.